everyone! Today's crochet tutorial is a special request from Jocelyn. So today we're going to be making these little mini sun hats. For this project, all you're going to need is the crochet hook of your choice. I think I'm using a four and a half and then just a little bit of yarn. Now to begin our project, I am going to be using a magic ring. You could also substitute the chain four and slip stitch method if that's easier for you. To make our magic ring, we're just going to take the yarn tail, wrap it around our first two fingers, holding it in place with our other two fingers. Then you'll take your hook under, pull down, and then we're going to chain one. And that's our magic ring. And for round one, we are going to be working directly into the magic ring. We're just going to be doing eight single crochets. So we're going to take our hook through the loop and we're going to pick up the working yarn here. So pick up the loop, yarn over and pull through. That's our first single crochet. Again, under, pick up that loop, over, and that's number two. And we're going to continue all the way around until we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight single crochets, now you're going to tighten up that loop just by pulling on the yarn tail. There we go. So we just tightened our ring. And then you're going to come to the first stitch that you made, the first single crochet, and we're going to slip stitch to close. So we're going to go right into that little stitch there. there go. We're going to take our yarn and we're just going to pull it through that stitch and through the last stitch. And that's round one. For round two, once again, we're just going to be doing our lovely single crochets. So we will start by doing a chain one and then you'll end up with eight single crochets. Again, we have eight stitches here. So we'll just start by going into the first stitch, pulling through, and there's our first single crochet. Then into the next stitch, there's number two, three, and we'll do this all the way around. Once we have our eight single crochets, now it is time to once again go to the top of that first single crochet and slip stitch to join. That's round two. All right, for the next round, we are going to be working in just the back loops of our stitches. We're going to be working double crochets, uh, one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. Again, keeping the math simple with just eight. Now the back loop only. So in your stitches, you'll see here is our little stitch. You'll find that this is a back loop and this is the front loop. And so we are going to be working in just this back loop only. And the reason for that is it's gonna force our project to uh, curl down and that's what we want. We want it to curl because that's gonna create this little cute piece right here. So to do our double crochet, we've chained one. We're gonna yarn over, go into the back loop. We're gonna pick up a loop yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and then pull through the second two. And that's our first double crochet. Once again, we're going to yarn over, go into the back loop here, pick up our loop, pull through, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through the second two. That's our second double crochet. We're going to do six more of these and I'll meet you back at the end. Now, when you get back here, what you want to do before we slip stitch this to close, you want to take the center and push it through. So we want to have this little seam at the top because that gives the little hat character. So just make sure you push that so that that's on the outside. And then just as we've done, we're going to finish the round with a slip stitch. And this is what we have so far. For the next round, we're going to do something fun. You may have seen front post stitches. Uh, we're going to be doing front post half double crochets in each of the stitches. Again, the math is simple. You're going to do eight. But if you're unfamiliar with working with front posts, let me show you. So we're going to start again by chaining one. 
and then we're working the post. And so you'll see here, we created these little chain spaces. So we have some spaces here, and this is a post. So if you're working in the back post, you would do this the opposite way, but we're working front post, and we're doing a half double crochet. So you'll yarn over, you'll take your hook, and you'll put it behind the post. So it's behind the post. You'll yarn over, pick up that loop, pull it behind your post, and then we're doing half double crochet. So we're gonna pull through all three of those loops. And that is our first front post half double crochet. Let's do it again. So yarn over, take your hook and put it just like that to the post. You're gonna yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three stitches to complete the half double crochet. So that's two. And again, we'll do this all the way around until we get to the other side. Remember, we should have eight. Just like before, once we have our eight half double crochets in the front post, we're going to slip stitch to join. It looks like this. It kind of looks like a little bit of a crown. In fact, if you wanted to make a little miniature crown, you could probably leave it right here and you would have a cute little crown. But we need to create the brim. That is our next step. Now for the next round, we are going to do a little bit of an increase. So we are going to chain one. We're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch. We'll do one single crochet in the next stitch. We'll do two again in the next stitch. We'll do one. And we'll repeat this pattern into the end. And then again, we will slip stitch. At this point, we have almost a little bucket hat style, and now we're gonna finish off the brim. So you can make this a little bit longer if you wanna do like a treble crochet, or if you wanna do a double crochet, you could even just do a single crochet. That's typically what I do. So we're just going to chain one, and then we will do a single crochet all the way around in each stitch. Then when we get back to the end, we are going to slip stitch to close. And this is what our little mini sun hat is going to look like. Again, you can change the length of your brim just by uh, increasing the stitch to a half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet. By increasing that stitch, you can actually create longer brims that look like this. But that is for you, Jocelyn, that is how to make a mini sun hat.